Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is, is Dixie. Dixie. And, and we're, we're Love Hub for Life. We've now been on the road for 63 weeks in our self-built slide-in camper slash tiny home on wheels. That's right, guys. And this week, we've been boondocking all across New Mexico and have found some incredible sites that we can't wait to share with you. Be sure and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. We left you last week in Ozona, Texas on the top of a ridge where our buddies Joe and Van had come out to spend the night with us. We had just enough time to steal Joe's coffee and breakfast before we said our temporary goodbyes because Joe was traveling westward at a much higher rate than we were intending on going. We weren't far from the state line and we're smack dab in the middle of two national parks and we're debating which one we wanted to go to. But first, it was our anniversary, and we decided to celebrate by getting a hotel and seeing how many showers we each could take. I think we each took about 12. It's snowing. It is snowing in Texas. I am so glad to be inside of this hotel room right now. We were both really excited when we hit the road and realized that it wasn't sticking, but it was way too cold to go to Big Ben today. That meant we were headed into New Mexico where the snow was sticking, but it was just warm enough that the roads weren't too bad. They aren't exactly used to snow around here either. Seeing the New Mexico oil fields completely covered in snow is a rare sight. I was so happy to be back out west because this region hosts a lot of public land, which means places for us to park our rig and drive down endless dirt roads. The last time that we came out west, we blew through New Mexico, and we didn't want to make that mistake twice, so we were excited to set up camp and get ready to explore this beautiful state. We woke up in Carlsbad, New Mexico, home of a really big hole in the ground. The largest single cavern cave in the whole country is here. It's time to go! I was excited too, but I don't know if I was quite as excited as Shane. Dixie just wanted to be in the heat. We got down that bumpy road as quickly as we could to get Shane to his giant hole. part of Alabama that I'm from is home to a lot of caves. They're all tiny in comparison to this one. I've been dreaming of coming here. Last year at this time, Kelsey was on a peg leg and couldn't walk, so we had to skip by it. I was ecstatic to finally get to see this cavern. That was like probably the coolest thing that we've ever, ever seen. Dixie is real happy to have us back in the truck though. And now it's time for us to go find somewhere to sleep. No worries guys, we got a lot more footage than that. We have a full video on Carlsbad Caverns coming out on Wednesday. Y'all be on the lookout for it. When we got back to cell phone service, we had a message from our new friends, AJ and Melissa, who were parked on some BLM land just right down the road. We parked next to them, shot a few rounds, and had a few good laughs before calling it an early night. After walking, more than I had walked in at least two years. The 
next morning we went next door for some pancakes and to say goodbye to our new friends as we hit the open road. Our only goal was to see just how far west we could make it. It's about time for us to pick up some work, so that means we have to get to those western cities as fast as possible because finding work out in the middle of a national forest is just not gonna happen. That meant covering about 250 miles in one day, which sounds pretty rough, but it was one hell of a drive. We pulled into our spot in front of the Oregon Mountain National Monument, just in time to catch one hell of a sunset. The night before, we had been overwhelmed with the first western sunset we had seen in too long. But the next morning, we were up and ready to explore our beautiful surroundings. Before long, we were headed west again, this time crossing our first immigration checkpoint, as well as the Rio Grande, into Hatch, New Mexico, home of the Hatch Chili Festival. Of course we had to get some Mexican food here. And then into the Gila National Forest. Going here was a bit out of our way and added some miles to our trip. But the last time we came through, we blew through this area and I knew there were things in this forest that I needed to see. I was okay with spending a few days in some trees because we were headed to a place where I know there's none. He might have thought I was a little bit crazy though when I told him that we were passing up all of these absolutely gorgeous free campsites to go pay $20 for a night to stay in a paid campground. But natural hot springs, y'all. Well, unfortunately, it looks like if you want to soak in the Gila hot springs, you have to call and make a reservation right now. We got here and the campground is full, but that's okay because we saw a lot of really beautiful free campsites on the way in. So we have no doubt that we'll find somewhere good to stay tonight. I was right, just down the road was a beautiful spot for us to put down our jacks and call home for the night. We set up our chair and cuddled up to watch the river flow. The little canyon that we were in made for an incredible sunset, but once that sun was gone, so was the warmth and we were headed inside for the night. We got all packed up and said goodbye to our little canyon oasis and headed deeper into this forest to see just what it had to offer. Just a few miles in on our way to something else, we realized that the answer to that question is a lot. We took what was supposed to be just a short hike and turned into a whole new video that you can be looking forward to in the future. This forest is chock full of different ecosystems and epic views, 
And there was one that we particularly wanted to see, but we were slightly unsure if we were going to be able to find it without cell phone service. Luckily, there were enough of those big brown signs on the side of the road to point us in the right direction and get us where we were going. The Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. Unlike the cliff dwellings that we saw in Colorado, these you can actually go inside of. It was a mile and a half long hike that you can look forward to in a complete video down the line. A helpful ranger guided us off the mountain with an old school paper map because we still needed to make it further westward because we didn't plan on this much adventure for one day. We had absolutely no idea just how much the Gila National Forest had to offer, and I probably could have talked Shane into just one more night had we had cell phone service. But the second we came into service, he got a job offer, and we realized that we had a lot of miles to cover so that we could be in Tucson the next morning. That meant driving into the sun for a little longer than I intended. We normally don't drive at night for many reasons. The main one being that we don't like to drive through areas that we know have absolutely beautiful views and miss the opportunity to get to see them. But occasionally you gotta make sacrifices and this is one of those times. We made it to our spot just before 11 o'clock and we were so tired that we didn't even put down our jacks because we had somewhere to be just eight hours later. The universe is always taking care of us. Just when we needed a job, one was presented to us. And this time, right outside of a city where there was state land that we could stay on as long as we needed. When I can, I work beside him, but this time it didn't work out that way. So me and Dixie hung out inside the house, wrapping the crystals that we found last month in Arkansas. I was back to my girls by 3.30 and that left us plenty of daylight to explore the dirt roads through the closest public land in search of our perfect camping spot for the next few days. We are all three absolutely thrilled to be back in Arizona soaking up the sunshine and watching these incredible sunsets. There's so much that we didn't get to see the last time we were here and we're really grateful to have an opportunity to do it over again. I told you guys this was going to be a great week, so much so that we even came up with four videos this week instead of our usual one. That's right guys, be on the lookout on Wednesdays because for the next three Wednesdays, we'll have a new video coming out and maybe more after that. I'd also like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for following along. If you're new to this channel, thanks for finding us and make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you can keep up with our wacky travels. Guys, each and every one of you are super important to us and we couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much. Be sure and check out our other social media pages as well, including our Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon account. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.